My question, I, I suppose, is on like what can you believe about the Bible, I suppose, as the Bible being an earlier document that is very specific about certain things that the Quran seems to contradict later. That I have heard that, that uh, Muslims believe that the Bible has been changed, corrupted, those sorts of things. Where is your justification for making that claim? Uh, let me explain in a nutshell. Of course, uh, this is uh, where the intellectual discussions come into, right? We do respect and everything. Now, uh, yes, the Quran comes in and says that in Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse 78, 79, that the Bible has been changed. Okay? That is what we believe as well, as our core belief. Now, uh, what is our proof as well? Uh, when we look into, uh, I would say, a lot of the Christian scholars as well have admitted that there is a different version of the Bible itself. Okay, there's a different version of the Bible itself. We can, uh, well, in our library, we have a list of the Bible in our possessions that we can share with you later. This is not the Bible that we produce, but those are the Bible, you know, we're talking about the uh, RSV 1952 and then RV 1971, where coming from the same school of thought that they have changed the content inside. But I'm a reductionist. I would like to jump into the conclusion faster. In which, just in case, all the scriptures are still being preserved. Just in case. Hypothetically. Okay. Now, just in case all the scriptures that God has revealed are still preserved and still there in the original form. And the Quran is here. So, logically, even in our world today, you always follow the latest law. You do not follow the previous law. So you're, you're saying that recency necessarily increases authoritativeness? Yes. So, like for example, uh, of course, in, in the US, you have, uh, you have the Senate, you have the Congress, and everything's right. Like for us in Malaysia, we have the Parliament, right? So the Parliament, the lawmakers, they will come up and they will debate about a certain new law. Now, this new law that has been agreed upon okay, by the lawmakers will supersede the previous law, meaning the, the previous law will no longer be enforced. We're not talking about laws made by men that are changeable, though. We're talking about eternal laws. Yes, we're talking about eternal laws. I'm just making an analogy in order yeah, for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... That's why I, I'm saying that in terms of hypothetically, yeah, yeah, yeah. just in case that all the scriptures are still there, preserved in the original way, but the Quran is still there, so therefore, the latest law, the final law, meaning uh, the, the Quran, mm -hmm. will supersede the previous law. And when Jesus is coming back as well, okay, before the Armageddon and everything, okay, uh, they will establish a prayer, and the prayer, he will get the Mahdi to lead the prayer, because that is to signify that he's following the latest law, the law of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the law that, the last law that God has revealed for mankind. <laughs>